morning folks nothing in the traps today I'll set them off uh, pretty dark out here still but I think I'm going up the mountain and see if I can't call in a wolf check this camera when I get back I forgot to look at it yesterday I don't think anything's been here though Makes noise. Here we go. All right, let's get on out of here. So today is October 9th, and deer season opens on the 10th. So what my thought is is. Uh, Come up here and give a little bit of wolf calling a try before deer season opens and there's tons of people in the woods. Uh, Hillbilly keeps saying that there's been a lot of bow hunters out his way, but I haven't really seen very many. There's one camp up here that I that I saw and uh, I haven't seen a lot of a lot of people. The other day when me and Cindy come up here and got firewood, uh, yeah, we drove probably close to 50 miles round trip, and we only saw one other truck the whole time. So there hasn't been that many people up here. There, there's no game either. That's part of it. But uh, anyway, try to try to give this a try. Maybe I'll have some luck. Maybe I won't. But at least I'm trying road is actually drivable now that they graded it from the logging before man those washboards try to throw you off the edge really easy it's going to be a pretty sunrise if I was home I'd set it up for a time lapse one thing I keep saying you know the, that uh, windows tinted here that out of the way uh, that smoke in the air really makes for pretty sunrises and sunsets and that's about all it's really good for I was kind of hoping to be in place by now but <laughs> that never seems to work out I'm always running late I had to wash my Idaho hillbilly and then I got sidetracked on over to one of them videos uh, on that hurricane. Them poor folks, they're about to get hit by the second hurricane. A lot of them are still cut off from rescue. They, they've lost their homes. They got nowhere to go. Here it is going into winter. Them folks are in trouble. Feel really bad for them. Loggers are at it already this morning. Just past the, I don't know what you call those things. It's kind of a big scissor type of deal that grabs the tree by the trunk and cuts it off at the base. Anyway, they're back there, lights on, doing that. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not at all against timber sales. If uh, we'd had some before everything burned. It might not have burned that much, you know, when they do a, a fire line, fire break line, uh, all that really is a, a, a clear cut. When the fire gets to where there's no trees, it's, it has to slow down and they have a better chance of stopping it. If we'd have had some timber sales, we would have had those in place already. And they could have added to them in places and maybe that fire wouldn't have been as big as what it was. But uh, now, like I said, it's a little late. They burned up 130,000 plus acres. I forget the exact number of them. But uh, we lost so much timber now, it just seems wrong to be cutting down the green stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not against it. I just hope they don't overdo it.
is any, I think. I brought the 30-30 today, because if I get a shot at all, it's going to be close.
this spot. Try another one. This is a spot to try. Smoky as it is, it's kind of kind of hard to see that in our hillside, but if there's movement over there, I should be able to pick it up. for deer. else that got my heart beating I was seeing that thing coming up the hill the 
first. I thought we were in the game. Well, that's wolf hunting. A lot of hunting and not very many wolves. But it is kind of fun to try. <laughs> 